Welcome to this unboxing of the new Zombie Sailor Heels and Faces Jeff Jarrett figure, notably on the orange card. Those of us who collected the WWF Hasbros in the mid-1990s remember that the green cards, the final series, were pretty scarce, pretty hard to come by. Lots of people never saw them at all. Those of us who did found them in the old bargain bins. And then, particularly here in the UK, nothing much from the WWF. We didn't really have a presence here much at all until the Jax BCA figures took off here in the UK. It was about the WWF magazine was about all we had. But always the rumours of this orange series which was going to be next in the line of Hasbro's and Jeff Jarrett being the centrepiece of that. So it's great to see this nod to that and you can see that in the card design from Zombie Sailor. San Diego Comic Con 2021 exclusive somewhere between series one and two. You can see those on the card there. Uh, I really like this edition here, sort of blueprint design from Ron Rudat, the guy who was involved in making WWF Hasbro figures. I think that's a nice touch on the back. A bit of a detail about Jeff Jarrett there as well, as well as figures, past and present, collect them all. Uh, quite a long time coming between the announcement and pre-order of this figure, which has been the case with Zombie Sailor because of the production that goes into them. Uh, like to see perhaps that change and perhaps there to be a quickening of that process. I suspect we will. The artwork is pretty good artwork, isn't it? It's a nice looking card. I think personally, I prefer photography of the wrestlers than um, a cartoon drawing, just because anything that's more like the Hasbro's is my preference. But um, that's what they've gone with, and it, it does look pretty good. Let's open it up and see what the figure looks like, shall we? And poke a finger in the side. Pop it open. Just try and save as much of that card as we can. Just put him down there. And let's pop Jeff out of the bubble. So we've got a nice joint there and that one. And is there any action? No. Oh dear, didn't like the sound of that. <laughs> no. There's no spin action on that, but it's a good solidly made figure, nice detail. Let's look at that face. I think it's a pretty good likeness of Jeff Jarrett in a, in a slightly sort of cartoony action figure way. You know, we're not talking about real scan technology. We're talking about a design and a sort of caricature, which is very much in keeping with the old Hasbro style. I like that. It's got a decent weight to it, still relatively lightweight. There's a matte finish on the trousers. Um, it's a bit odd that the bottom half has got a matte finish and the top half has got a shiny finish, but I suppose that's to do with the paintwork because actually the paint, all that paintwork has got a matte finish on it. It's just the skin that's got a shiny finish. Nice detail on the boots as well. Bit of a scratch on there, but you know, that's what happens. All in all, pretty good figure. I think. I don't know, I'm not massively keen on that. I know it seems so picky, but the matte finish and then the shine on the skin, it's probably more realistic. It's probably more realistic in terms of differentiating the skin tone to the, to the clothes. But again, I'm looking for everything that makes it look like a Hasbro figure. And those are always just shiny and plastic. I tell you the one thing, to be fair though, about Zombie Sailor, I think they are, they are the, the line generally that are most like the Hasbros, I think. The Mattels are what they are. Do you know what, holding that actually, it's quite a good solid Mattel. Some of the newer Mattels I think are much more lightweight, maybe it's my imagination. I mean, they're a lightweight, they're a lightweight line anyway, much more lightweight than the old Hasbro's, but I think the newer Mattels have got more lightweight and I think there's a lot of detail. There's a lot of effort, a lot of work that's gone into this figure and you can really see that. I think it's reflected in the price point as well. Here's a Keller. I think the Kellers have got better as they've gone on, but they are much more lightweight, much more cartoon-like, I think, in their design. So I think, similar to some of the reviews I've said before, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I think we're seeing what we expect from these lines. The Mattels are fun, they're lightweight, they're officially licensed. The Kellers, certainly here in the UK, are slightly cheaper because we haven't got postage on there, but sometimes feel slightly cheap cheaper, more cheaply made is probably the fair way to put it. Um, 
Zombie Sailor, there's a lot of attention to detail. There's a lot of craft gone into it. They feel heavier, more substantial in what they are. And that's reflected in the price, certainly when you're getting it sent over here to the UK. This figure is a winner. I mean, I do think it's an absolute winner. I think it's clearly Jeff Jarrett. It's a figure wanted for, what, at least 20 years. It's great to have him in this size. It's great to have him in his sort of 1995 styling. I think the matte finish has bothered me. I know that's a bit nerdy, but I just like it when they are more and more like Hasbro's. But you know what? I think Zombie Sailor is starting to really get going. You know, Keller stole the march by getting out there first with their figures. I think, you know, the Dino Bravo figure is really good. Our Hebner is a slightly strange looking figure. But I think they are, I'll be honest, every time I've opened one, I've thought, okay, this is value for money. This is what I wanted. They've delivered what they promised. And I think you can't ask for more than that, really. If you're a collector and you want really solid detail and you want really well put together figures, then Zombie Sailor are the line. I think, I think they complement each other all really rather well. You know, they go with the Hasbros. I just hope they all keep making them. Maybe I'm just, I think I'm probably just easily pleased. The fact that they're making Hasbro figures or Hasbro style figures at all really pleases me. The fact that some of them look a bit strange, the fact that some of them, some of the Mattels in particular have slightly dodgy paintwork, the fact that some are lighter weight than others, none of that bothers me because it's all in keeping with the Hasbros. I think the Zombie Sailor are the most Hasbro-like and certainly the most substantial. That is a brilliant figure. I just hope we start to get Zombie Sailor figures more quickly. And you know what, a distributor here in the UK to make things a little bit cheaper as well would be really welcome. But really pleased to add Jeff Jarrett to my collection.